Welcome back to Karen and I. We're having a discussion of the economy. We were looking at 2014 and we were dealing at the break with the whole question of the threat to the financial services here in the Bahamas in terms of actions taken by major European governments and also by the United States government, which really are posing a serious threat to the way in which business used to be done mm -hmm. in our financial service sector. Mm -hmm. So you're saying the challenge now is to come up with new modules. Yes. That mm -hmm. they, have, they have to be new, new modules. They have to be new, new products that we offer the public. Uh, there, have to, there has to be a shift from the emphasis being placed on tax avoidance mm -hmm. to wealth creation. creation. Um, to developing the tools, the mechanisms, the packages, and the, the products that will help people to recognize that there are ways and means by which to increase wealth, to, to, to increase wealth for themselves through these institutions. And do we have the local expertise yes, to yes. develop this? Yes, we do. The expertise has always been there, mm -hmm. and uh, most of the institutions that are, have been here for a long time, UBS, Credit Suisse, um, uh, PICTE, um, BSI, a number of them have persons who are very familiar with how to conduct trading activities. Mm -hmm. uh, if you remember way back when NatWest, RoyWest was in place, they, right. they, they, they also had trading, they had a trading room. Mm -hmm. And so this is not new to the Bahamas. And, and I think we need to find a way to maximize the the age, the electronic age, mm -hmm. the, the, the computer and the things that the power, the power of the computer really maximize the power of the computer to assist us in, in con con transforming the industry. But then you, uh, and will that lead to the employment of less persons? Well, I think they're going to be less persons employed anyway, anyway yeah. in, in the first, in the, in, the, in, the, in the fullness of time. I think that's going to happen because there's going to be a lot of shakeup because there won't be business, there will not be business to be locked after mm -hmm. as a result of the fallout. Oh, yeah. uh, what we're going to have to become, though, I I are smarter workers. The workers who remain mm -hmm. are going to have to be more efficient, more productive, more be, be able to do whatever they do more efficiently than their mm -hmm. counterparts in London and, and New York and Shanghai and, and other uh, world capital. So um, while I agree with you there, it does mean that you're going to have an increase in unemployment. There is likely to be. <laughs> well, well uh, the, the natural fallout would seem to be unemployment. unemployment. Uh, we have to find a way, and I'm not quite sure yet what that way okay. is. I'm not sure that the government has really put it, wrapped its hands around this. We recognize that there is going to definitely be a fallout. Mm -hmm. um, to what extent will that will there be for the, will that fallout be? We're not sure. I would not be surprised if it's somewhere in the re, somewhere in the region of thirty percent, and uh, that that 30%. is quite thirty percent. Significant. That is a very significant. Um, mm -hmm. uh, but if we real if we're honest about it, I mean, that, let's ask ourselves: if the as the economy shrinks, mm -hmm. there will not be the need for the number of persons person. who mm -hmm. are presently employed. For example, in 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 some of the banks recently, I've noticed that uh, well. One bank let go about 15 people, 15, 15 in a very short sure. period of time. Another bank recently let go 50 people. Um, and so, uh -huh. you know, we are seeing, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Maybe the Ministry of Financial Services is aware of it, or maybe the central bank is aware of what the numbers is and the rate of shrinkage yeah, yeah. and what, that, what, what impact that's going to have for the economy. But if no one has done the analysis, someone should do the, sure, anal should do the analysis yeah, yeah. And, and canvas the banks, survey the banks with a view to understanding what is likely to be the rate of shrinkage in human resources, resources. over the course of the next 12 months, 18, 24 months, and then try to understand what, that, what impact that's going to have on the economy because it will be impactful. Mm -hmm. In terms of uh, the development of the economy, uh, if we move from tourism and financial services, mm -hmm. look to the general area of commerce mm -hmm. in the country. It does seem to me that the banks, the commercial banks, mm -hmm. play a pivotal role in the development of our well, I would say that that used to be the case. Mm -hmm. uh, the banks, the commercial banks used to be, play a pivotal role in the development of our country. Unfortunately, I believe that the commercial banks are losing the impact that they previously had, right. and I'll tell you why. I know for a fact that recently one of the commercial banks, the, 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 
or the offshore banks, so the, the, the commercial, the one of the Canadian banks that's uh, moved its entire operation uh, 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 department mm -hmm. from Nassau to Barbados. Yes. And I think that was probably driven by cost, mm -hmm. uh, driven by the fact that the people who were doing the work here had been employed in that department uh, for many, many years and their salaries were fairly high and so they were able to move that, to relocate that service to uh, Barbados. Uh, where the, the dollar is the dollar, 50 cents. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The dollar is, 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 is less. Mm -hmm. And also the, the people who are doing the work are probably younger and no, therefore not being paid. Mm -hmm. I think what we are likely to see in the Bahamas with all the Canadian banks is a, is a rationalization of, of human resources. And mm -hmm. by that I mean a scaling down, uh, scaling back of persons mm -hmm. who have been in mm -hmm. those in major positions, in key positions mm -hmm. for many, many years being let go mm -hmm. and I know I know of about a about a dozen who have uh, you know who 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 have who have had that experience mm -hmm. over the last 6 months mm -hmm. and they are without work they are young they are still um, employable mm -hmm. they they have skills that can be employed elsewhere mm -hmm. and it, it really is unfortunate but it's 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 the way things are developing and, and more it, of that is going to take place more of that is going, going to take, take place right? and I, and I think unfortunately you know if the government is going to really demonstrate any kind of vision on this in this area it has to recognize that we cannot continue to rely on the foreign commercial banks right. that we, we mm -hmm. have in the past mm -hmm. i would i for one would like to see a, re, a, a, a reduction in the activities of the foreign commercial oh, banks for, no, for several reasons mm -hmm. one they don't invest here they, they 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 give they create jobs but and jobs are important but they don't really invest here they don't they don't invest plant and equipment here in any substantial way no. Secondly, they do not, they, they don't provide any ownership mm -hmm. for Bahamians. Bahamians have no ownership in the, in, the, in the Canadian banks. Three, hundreds of millions of dollars each year are repatriated right, right, right. to Canada mm -hmm. or Barbados or where, wherever. And then, the, for example, so with the Canadian banks, mm -hmm. even those who go through the Caribbean, That's like right. Barbados and Trinidad, That's right. mm -hmm. the, eventual profits end up in Toronto. E exactly. And the Canadian government mm -hmm. gets more tax than we get That's right. Locally. That's right. And in fact, what we, in other words, what we are doing is we are paying taxes to the Bahamas the government, we are paying taxes to the Canadian the government. government. Mm -hmm. And, and something, uh, something has to be wrong crazy. about that. Mm -hmm. Something's got to be wrong exactly. with that picture. Four, um, in a very significant way, and I don't want to offend anybody when I say this, many of our Bankers are just paper pushers. Mm -hmm. They don't make decisions. Yes. Mm -hmm. They will fill out the mm -hmm. forms, they will sign off uh, on the line, and then they will send it to Barbados or to, Trinidad, or to Toronto or, or to Trinidad or to Trinidad yeah. for a decision to be for made. Decisions to be made. Bahamians can make the very same yes. decisions. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Bank of the Bahamas is doing it, mm -hmm. and then, uh, notwithstanding the issues yes, that they have yeah, had, right. Commonwealth Bank is doing it. Uh, Fidelity is yes, Fidelity is doing it. Mm -hmm. There's no reason in the world why we ought not have more Bahamian banks, Bahamian-owned banks, Bahamian-run banks, banks, Bahamian ba ba banks that are based here in this country. Um, interestingly enough, Royal Bank of Canada, I think, re so recently sold its branch in Jamaica because it was losing money. money. Mm -hmm. But it, it certainly when we do, won't do it here because they're making money hand over fist in the Bahamas. Oh, yes. you, you see? And so as long as they're making money, they will continue to be here. Now, what I would, what I would hope would happen is that in the fullness of time, and I hope it will be in my lifetime, that we will see a, a migration of customers from the Canadian banks to other Goodbye. to be established, mm -hmm. and existing and to be established Bahamian banks, uh, because there's a vested interest in Bahamians investing in their own yeah, banks. In their own banks, yes. yes. But what has been the phobia uh, here? Well, the phobia has come really from the regulators in the most part, mm -hmm. for the most part. And I will tell you, and it's unfortunate that for too long, um, there have been regulators who did not believe that Bahamians should be owners of banks. Mm -hmm. But who? And, who and appoints these regulators? Well, the politicians appoint the regulators, mm -hmm. and the politicians are the ones who are to make certain that when they make these appointments that they understand what the philosophy is, the development philosophy mm -hmm. of these regulators. Because at the end of the day, if we are not going to have faith in our own people, mm -hmm. and I know that there have been instances, I know this for a fact, uh, no one told me this, I know that a, 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 a former regulator told a, bank, a foreign bank that was looking to be purchased by a Bahamian mm -hmm. group, yeah. mm -hmm. that the regulator prefer if they had a foreign partner as opposed to Bahamian yeah, partner. Right. 
And that, Anath, that, 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 Anath was a Bahamian? That was a Bahamian. Regulator? A Bahamian regulator. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but what creates that mindset? Uh, foreign is better. Mm -hmm. That foreign is better. That Bahamians don't know anything about banking. But Bahamians aren't smart enough. But shouldn't the Bahamas government be the policy making agency? It, it should be. And uh, unfortunately, I must say, at the end of the day, um, word got back to the Bahamian prospective purchasers so that that was what the regulators felt, and they then reported it to the appropriate persons, and the regulators were told, don't, you know, that, that cannot possibly fly. Mm -hmm. And so ultimately, the Bahamians were able to purchase it. Uh -huh. But if you have a regulator on the, on the one hand taking an attitude that we're not going to uh -huh. have. Uh -huh. Bahamian banks, mm -hmm. uh, and, and the regulator speaking to a foreign owner, no, no. unless there is something to intervene in that process, the Bahamian wouldn't even know what, 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 what's, what's going on. But in addition to the promotion of Bahamian ownership and the increase in Bahamian owned banks, mm -hmm. there must also be uh, an examination of the role of the banks absolutely. in the society, uh, oh, absolutely, absolutely. and how mm -hmm. how do banks make the, mm -hmm. the economy grow mm -hmm. and flourish? Because uh, mm -hmm. a large number of persons in the Bahamas they are complaining about the inability to secure any kind of fund, meaningful funding from commercial banks. Well, I think that um, there has to be a balance. I, I think I think that first of all. In, in, the, in the case of the Canadian banks, you will find that they will generally put you through a more rigorous routine mm -hmm. for approval, which ultimately doesn't get determined here. Mm -hmm. It gets determined yeah, either elsewhere, uh, yeah. elsewhere, Trinidad, Barbados, yes, or, or Toronto. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's, that's one thing that we need to get beyond. Mm -hmm. And I think that government needs to be fully aware of that. I hope that they're aware of it. Uh, we're going to continue uh, to militate against those, that kind of, of um, prejudice that exists yes. in the banking system. Mm -hmm. Bank of the Bahamas, I think, is an excellent institution, notwithstanding the complications and the mm -hmm. difficulties it's had. It has had a, 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 a many, many years of profitable um, operations. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that it, once they are able to come out of this period of close scrutiny mm -hmm. and adjustment and realignment, I think that Bank of the Bahamas is going to be a very, very strong bank and I think Bahamians ought to support it. Okay, good. Could uh, we just take our final sure. break mm -hmm. at this point? Mm -hmm.